Hello Max Tubers, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to check out a video of Dimash performing a medley with another singer, a Chinese singer named Li Yugang. Based on the description of the original video, it's for a show on SMG Shanghai TV, a Shanghai Spring Festival Gala uploaded this January. So it is a fairly recent performance. Before we get into this video, I am inviting everyone to please follow me on my Instagram account at max underscore Q. At the same time, please don't forget to hit subscribe, click on the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max Q. Since the original video is from a TV network in China, I will be altering it a bit to avoid possible copyright issues which may cause this video to be blocked. So please bear with me. But to those who wish to enjoy the full video without any alteration, without any interruption, without my comments, please feel free to head to my description box where you will find the original video link. Because as always, I will be pausing the video in between to give my honest observations and comments. Another option is you can check out the original video first before coming back to this one for my comments. Without further ado, let's begin. I cannot think of the exact direct translation to this, but the nearest to it would be the MC introducing Dimash and Li Yugang performing some songs that would uh, that would that would represent that would represent the global development strategy adopted by the Chinese government uh, called the Belt and Road Initiative. If you wish to know more about this, you might want to Google it because this in itself is a whole different topic. But looking at the two titles flashed earlier, I have no idea what the first song is. Of course, translating it to English, that would be The Drunken Concubine, which I have never heard of before. And the second title says The Fifth Element. I think it is my first time to hear him like this. His tone and style sound different. Very different from his other videos I've watched before. This sounds very pop. Uh, contemporary Mando pop to be exact. Which actually suits him. <laughs> I think it also has a different vibe because of the upbeat tempo. Unlike SOS, Autumn Strong, and uh, what's the other one? Daybreak, which are very somber. But I'm really loving it. It's refreshing to hear him like this. Question. Question for my Max Tubers out there. Does Dimash sing a lot of upbeat songs? Because I'd really love to uh, hear more upbeat songs from him. Please comment down below. <laughs> Oh, 
家，愿为真爱温暖红颜。It is my first time to listen to Li Yukang, and I must say he also sounds real good, especially when he did that flip, that flip from his chest voice to his falsetto, which Dimash also did in his part. But for some reason, Dimash sounded cooler, while Li Yukang sounds more traditional to me. There's nothing wrong with sounding more traditional. It's just what I'm getting in the meantime. One sounds more traditional, while the other one sounds more modern. But if you ask me, I personally think it is a nice contrast. Oh my! I initially thought that was a recording, so I was so 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 surprised when the camera cut to the mash and showed him doing it. He sounded almost robotic, which is very very cool, because I've never heard anyone use the vocal fry technique like that in a song. Especially in a live performance, when he did it, I almost felt the ground below me vibrate. This guy never fails to amaze me. Again, to tell you guys honestly, I have no idea what drunken concubine was until today, and it's funny. Because I'm Chinese, yet I have never heard of that song, nor have I ever seen Li Yukang. After watching this, I definitely have to make some research on this、uh, talented guy. And of course, they are now doing diva dance from the Fifth Element. What was that? Li Yukang. Li Yukang is a guy, right? He looks like a guy. He sounded like a guy earlier, but now he sounds like a woman. A woman with a very delicate, demure, and extremely high voice. What? But his tone、uh, and style reminds me of. Uh, a traditional Chinese opera singer, a female Chinese opera singer, to be exact. Wow, it's like watching a showdown between. Two epic singers with epic voices. Amazing! Both of them are delivering crystal clear tones, but I think Dimash's advantage over Li Yukang is his ability to reach those low notes and sound solid, strong, and resonant. I mean, he went from really high. To really low, and the way he transitioned was just so smooth. But it might be too early to tell, because who knows? Li Yukang might just surprise us with some of his own low notes later. Let's see. He really sounds like a woman. He does. Wait. He actually sounds like a castrato. He's not one, is he? To those who are familiar with、uh, the singer Li Yukang, please comment down below. Oh. 
Oh my! Oh my lord! I don't even know what note that was anymore. But I think it should be somewhere in the 7th or 8th octave. Because it definitely sounds higher than the 6th octave. But since my keyboard is busted, I have no way of checking. So can anyone out there please comment down below? What is that highest note Dimash just hit? Because that note doesn't even sound like it's humanly possible to reach, especially for a man. Let me replay this part. Wait. How was he able to do that? And look how calm his face looks. Like there's nothing to it. Like I said in my last video, superhuman. Dimash is superhuman. But I have to add, Li Yukang is no chopped liver himself. For him to be able to go head to head uh, with Dimash like that, gotta give him the respect that he deserves. Let's go back. Gosh, did you guys hear that? The way he went from low to high with no vocal breaks. Very, very well connected. It almost sounds like a synthesizer, which it obviously isn't. Moving on. Hi. They are both super crazy fantastic. And I'm right, Li Yukang is indeed giving us the traditional Chinese opera way of singing and of course the narration we're hearing, which is of course very nasal. Dimash, on the other hand, executing those high notes in a more Western classical way, which she is doing flawlessly and effortlessly with a lot of staccato and roundness in his tone. What's interesting here is, it sounds like a showdown, it looks like a showdown, but their voices are coming together really, really nicely. Still very pleasant to the ears, and who knew that these two styles can be a perfect combination. Dimash is now using uh, a combination of classical with just a slight hint of popish voice, which for some weird reason really complements Li Yukang's traditional Chinese opera style. And if we shut our eyes right now, they sound like a man and a woman doing a duet. Li Yukang really sounds like a girl. Wait, I got to cut this video really quickly to check out his or her Wikipedia page. Well, according to Wikipedia, he's really a guy. But he specializes in playing female roles in pecking opera. So that explains his impressive female voice, which sounds very natural. Okay, let's get back to the clip.
That also explains his very feminine hand gestures, which is, of course, uh, widely used in Chinese opera if you are playing female roles. It's funny because as I am listening to him, at the same time watching him, he's looking more and more feminine to me. It's in his voice and body language. I'm kind of forgetting that he's a guy. As for the mash, I am so impressed because there are a lot of singers who have wide vocal ranges. Well, not as wide as his, of course, but there is always like a certain sweet spot in this range where he or she sounds the best. But in his case, he sounds great across his entire range. His low, mid, high register, his vocal fry, chest voice, mixed voice, head voice, and whistle, his pop voice, classical voice, all sound incredible. He is a freak of nature. And I mean that in the best way possible way. Let's go back. Did you hear that run he just did? It reminds me of the chant he did for the song Sinful Passion. Never thought that it would go well with the very traditional Chinese style of Li Yukang. But it did. It's like an East meets West kind of thing, which is the theme of this entire performance. In addition, I love the power in Dimash's voice and the softness in Li Yukang's. Wow! Wow! That was absolutely one of the coolest and most fascinating collaborations I have ever witnessed in my life. It was so beautiful and impressive. As a child, I hated how Chinese opera sounded. Maybe that explains why I never knew who Li Yukang is because I've never bothered listening to this kind of music. But this duet just made me realize what I've been missing out on, which is a lot. What I like about this is how well they complemented each other. We get to witness each of their own vocal strengths and their own styles. Even the way both of them were hitting those super high notes were different. One sounded more powerful while the other created a more feminine, softer, and sweeter sound. Both were stellar nonetheless. But when their voices came together, it's like magic. It's a perfect collaboration flawlessly executed. So what do you folks think of their performance? Please let me know down at the comment section. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And of course, if you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. With that, I thank everyone for watching and please don't forget to hit subscribe, the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max Few. Stay safe, happy, and healthy everyone. See you again next time.